Hi everyone, this is Matthew Alor. In this video, I will take you through a project that will make you more proficient in Microsoft Word. This video will also help you pass Microsoft Word 365 and 2019 exams. So let's go through this project one after the other. Task 1. Split the document anywhere on the first page. In the top pane, demote the notes paragraph until it is under the first internet heading. Note. Leave the outline document view open when you are finished. Split the document anywhere on the first page. In the top pane, demote the note paragraph until it is under the first internet heading. Note, leave the outline document view open when you are finished. Okay, to do this, so you split the document. Uh, to split the document, just click on the view tab. Okay, in the window group, you select split okay so the document is split now so you demote the note paragraph until it is under the first internet edit okay so let's click here and locate the notes paragraph okay so the note paragraph is actually here so you demote it just click at the beginning here then to demote you go to the home tab and in the paragraph group you see decrease index then increase index so you move the document away or further away from the margin so that's all it means to demo just click on these once okay so that is done then leave the outline document view open when you are finished okay to do this just uh, click on the view tab then the in the views group you select the outline view so you select this okay so that is done so you leave it open then that is done okay correct task two protect the document so that everything is restricted to track changes Enforce the protection using the password net plus plus sign G. Protect the document so that editing is restricted to track changes. Enforce the protection using the password net plus dollar sign G. So to do this, you select the review tab, then in the protect group, you select restrict editing. Okay, so in this pane under the editing restriction select allow this type of editing in the document the checkbox okay then here you select the drop down arrow and select track changes okay restrict as a track changes so enforce the protection using the password net loss dollar sign g okay so yes start enforcing protection and you type the password net plus And the dollar sign then G in upper case. So retype re-enter password to confirm. Okay, next plus then the dollar sign then G upper case. So click OK. Okay, password don't match. Okay, so retype that net net clause then with the dollar sign then G okay click OK so that is done okay correct so task 3 Ensure that open documents are automatically saved every five minutes. Ensure that open documents are automatically saved every five minutes. Okay, to do this, you click on the Vite tab, Vite tab, then select the More button and select Options. Then in the Word option page, right here, you select Save. Then 
save auto recovery information on every change this to five minutes five minutes change five then I just press the enter key to close this page okay that is done all right task four publish the document as a blog post set the blog post title to alternative health articles publish the document as a blog post set the blog post title to alternative health articles to do this just click on the home tab then click on new then you can search for blog posts as a template okay now you have blog post and select create okay let's dog this to the bottom so you can see the title okay so here you have post title so set the blog post title to alternative f articles okay that is done correct task 5 open sales report dot docs as a read only file save the document as word template open sales report dot docs x as a read only file save the document as a word template so to do this just click on the file tab and click open and click browse and here you see sales report the geometry folder so select it and to open you open as read only documents so save the document as a word template so you click file and save us and browse and you select word template okay word template okay then show let you save in the geometry folder and click save okay Correct. Task 6. Create a new document based on the template Fast Cover Sheet Origin Theme. Type the text. Please confirm you have received this fax in the comment section. Note If two templates appear called Fax Origin Theme, use the second one. Create a new document based on the template Fax Cover Sheet Origin Theme. Type the text. Please confirm you have received this fax in the comment section. Note: If two templates appear called fax origin theme, use the second one. Okay. So to do this, select the file tab. Then you select new. Okay. So you search for fax. cover sheet origin theme okay let's enter okay so select this only one appear then you create okay so in the comment section type the text and I say comment section okay type comments please confirm you uh, received 
this fax okay okay that's done correct task 7 insert page breaks before the headings 1 the cyclone 2 and 2 the council with the march kings insert page breaks before the headings 1 the cyclone and 2 the council with the march kings okay we will do this we we'll locate those two headings okay so you click before the cyclone and you click on the pay layout and select bricks so that's page break okay so select page okay that is done then for adding to the cancel okay the cancel with the march kings so it's let before it then select break then pick okay that is done Correct. Task 8. Ensure that content in all paragraphs is not split across pages. Ensure that content in all paragraphs is not split across across pages. Okay, to do this, you select the home tab then in the paragraph group. Okay, you select the paragraph dialog box launcher. Okay, let's first select the whole content by pressing Ctrl A. I select the old document. Press Ctrl A, get that is done. Then go to the home tab in the paragraph group. You select the paragraph dialog box launcher. Okay, so line and page breaks. So we are going to select under page nation. Keep lines together. Keep lines together. So select this and press the enter key to close the dialog box. Okay, okay that is done. Correct. Task 9. Insert page break. Insert page numbers at the bottom of each page, except for the first page. Using uppercase Roman numerals and plain number 1. Close the footer. Insert page numbers at the bottom of each page, except for the first page. Using uppercase Roman numerals and plain number 1. Close the footer. Okay, to do this. You go to the insert tab, and insert the page number in the header and footer group. You have page number at the bottom, so bottom of each page. Okay, using plane number one, plane number one. Okay, okay, so that's done. Play number one. Okay, use the upper case Roman number. Okay, let's check this. Okay, upper case. Okay, upper case. So that is done. And except for the first speed. So we are going to select here different first speed. So that the first speed will not have the page number. Okay, so that is done. So except for the first page, then close the footer. So you click here, close, and then footer. So that is done. So the first page, only the first page, does not have the page number. Okay, that is done. Correct. Task ten. 
add the custom watermark with the text pending approval in impact 80 points font add a custom watermark with the text pending approval in impact 80 points font okay so to do this you go to the design tab and select watermark then custom watermark okay test the text watermark select text watermark and type the text pending approval pending approval then the font size 80 Okay, impact. So click apply. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So as apply pending approval, you see the font is font size eight and font is impact. Okay. Correct. Task 11. Add a footer using the facet odd page style. Adjust the footer so that it is displayed 0.3 inches, equivalent to 7.62 millimeters, from the bottom of the page, and then close and then close header and footer. So add a footer using the facet odd page style. Adjust the footer so that it is displayed 0.3 inches, equivalent to 7.62 millimeters from the bottom of the page, and then close the header and footer. Okay, so to do this, you select the insert tab and to apply footer, you go to the header and footer group and select footer. Okay. So odd page, face set odd page. So you scroll down to face set odd page. Okay, there it is. Okay, face set odd page. I adjust the footer so that it is displayed 0 0.3 inches from the bottom of the page. Okay, so footer from bottom 0 0.3 inches. Okay, this is inches. Okay, 0 0.3 inches. So and then close the header and footer. So you close header and footer. Okay, that is done. Correct. Task twelve. Customize word so that it does not check spelling or grammar as you type. Customize word so that it does not check spelling or grammar as you type. Okay, to do this, you select a file tab. I select uh, more and options. Okay, select options. Then here is select proofing. Okay, customize word so that it does not check spelling or grammar as you type. Okay, check spelling as you type. Check spelling as you type. Okay, so you uncheck this. Then check mark grammar errors as you type. Okay, so you uncheck this as well. Then you press the enter key to close the dialog box. Okay, to so close that page. Okay, that is done. Correct. Task 13. Display only the comment from the user, Robin Abernathy. Display only the comment from the user, Robin Abernathy. So to do this, you select the review tab, then the tracking group, you select show markup drop down, 
a row then you go to specific people and display only the comment from the user Robin Abanasi okay Robin Abanasi is, is here so you select Joshua Esther okay so Marcos this week people okay that's display that is done correct task 14 for the first paragraph under the 10 mbps internet heading on page one add a comment that contains please review for the first paragraph under the 10 mbps internet heading on page one add a comment that contains please review okay the first for the first paragraph under the 10 mbps internet heading okay first paragraph okay so for the first paragraph under the heading so you select the first paragraph under that heading so add a comment so add a comment go to review tab and click on new comment so you type here please review okay that is done correct task 15 apply hyperlink to email all your questions in the last sentence of the document with the email drnelson at hu.edu and the subject healthcare questions apply hyperlink to email all your questions in the last sentence of the document with the email drnelson at hu.edu and the subject healthcare questions okay to do this we scroll to the bottom or the, the end of the document go to the end of the document so apply it hyperlink to email all your questions email all your questions okay so you select email all your questions okay in the last center of the document with the email the alnessing at hu dot and the subject care questions okay so that has been selected so you open the hyperlink dialog box you just select the insert tab then in the links we see link okay this is link used to open the insert hyperlink dialog box okay so email so email address dalnessing at hu dot edu so you type that here dalnessing at 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 hu dot edu At hu dot head so the subject f care space and questions okay okay that is done so you click okay okay that has been emailed to that has been linked to dr nelson at hu dot ed okay that is done correct task 16. apply hyperlink to the image that depicts a child holding a cat and link it to the heading are you okay sparky in the document apply hyperlink to the image that depicts a child holding a card and link it to the heading are you okay sparky in the document 
okay so apply that to the image to the image that the pick a child hold the car a child hold the car okay here it is child holding the car so i link it to the edit so we just open the ipad in the box you click insert then in the links group you click link okay it happens to image so you just select okay link it to the heading so you, you select place in this document okay so i link to the heading are you okay sparky so since it is within the document so you just select place in this document so you select are you okay sparky then you click okay so that is it so that has been linked to the place in this document okay so you correct task 17 in the auto correct options make the exception to not correct the initial caps of the word cps in the auto correct options make the exception to not correct the initial caps of the word cps okay to do this so you click on the file tab then you click on option options then you select proofing and auto correct options okay make the exception so you click exceptions exceptions so initial caps you type the word cps don't correct the word cps so you type cps okay click add okay don't correct the word cps so click ok and you click ok now okay let's dog this to the top so you can see the ok button so okay so you click ok okay that is done correct task 18 format the following sentence with the stride through effect and red font color even the introduction of csna slash cd did not reduce the latency period format the following sentence with the stride through effect and red font color even the introduction of csna slash cd did not reduce the latency period okay to do this you just locate the sentence even the introduction of csna slash cd did not reduce the latency period in the, in the document so you just go to the find in the editing group just click on find and uh, so you type even okay even the introduction okay it's already highlighted here select this and format with the strike to effect and red for color okay you go to the home tab strike to effect you open strike to okay this strike to so i think this double strike you can open this you can see all here so still click on strike through then the color okay color color font color sorry font color is red red font color and you click okay okay that is done now close the dialog box and that is done okay correct correct task 19 modify the sub objective editing style to use 0.75 point expanded character spacing and center alignment modify the sub objective editing style to use 0.75 expanded character spacing and center alignment okay to do this you go to the home tab then you select the size launcher so 
here you have sub objective heading sub objective heading sub objective heading you right click on the sub objective heading and click modify modify then uh, right here you select the center alignment okay the center alignment and click on format click font then uh, advanced advanced tab you click on advanced tab you see character spacing so you change this to spacing to expanded expanded then 0 0.75 you can just type that 0 0.75 okay so that is done click ok and right here you click ok as well you can close this box okay correct task 20 replace the first instance of csma slash cd with career sense multiple access slash collision detection csma slash cd in italics replace the first instance of csma slash cd with career sense multiple access slash collision detection then in bracket csma slash cd in italics so to do this you go to the home tab then in the editing group you select replace then here you type csma slash cd you replace with Area says multiple access slash collision detection. And open the bracket CSMA slash CD and close the bracket. Okay, so I'm sure the poor correct spelling. Okay, now you click on format here and select font then italic in italic okay then you as we to be sure to do okay now it's done you close this bracket then replace click replace okay the fourth instance okay of the word csma okay that is the first instance of the word csma okay so ensure you select replace again be sure this is replaced Click replace. Okay, CSME. So that has been done. Okay, and you click close. Correct. Task 21. Replace all instances of the word LAN with the phrase local network. Replace all instances of the word LAN with the phrase local network. Okay, to do this, you click on the home tab. Then in the editing group, you select replace. So right in the find word box, you type the word LAN. Then 
the replace with box the replace with box the type local network okay so all instances so just select replace all okay all done we have made nine replacements okay so you close the find and replace dialog box as well okay correct task 22 and then the bullet list on pick one by an additional 0 0.25 inches equivalent to 6.35 mm and apply a angle indent of 0 0.5 inches equivalent to 1.27 centimeter to the paragraphs that begin with notes and then the bullet list on page one by an additional 0 0.25 inches equivalent to 6.35 mm and apply a angle indent of 0 0.5 inches equivalent to 1.27 centimeter to the paragraphs that begin with notes okay to do this so let's just check out what um, the default setting is that is 0 0.25 so you add additional 0 0.25 okay this can be done first by selecting then go to um, the home tab in the paragraph group you have the increase indent here yeah. so by the time you check you see that it has actually changed I click then adjust indent to 0 0.5 so that is done then um, apply the angle indent of 0 0.5 inches okay 0 0.5 inches 0 0.5 inches to the paragraphs that begin with note okay you can search for the paragraph that begin with note by click on find then you have notes here okay just type notes and press um, the enter key so okay, this note already so now you want to indent go to the home tab in the paragraph group you select the paragraph dialog box on chart here then in this dialog box under special you change to angle then 0 0.5 you can set it to 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 you click ok ok that is done then paragraph so you look for another paragraph that start with note Okay. Note. Okay. Okay, this is it right here. Note. Then you stick repeat the same step. Home tab in the paragraph group you have the paragraph dialog box launcher here the time arrow just select and it will take you here then change this to angle 0 0.5 0 0.5 inches now you click ok and close this ok that is done correct task 23 Set the after spacing to 18 point for the line Dr. Jane Miller, PhD. Set the line spacing to at least 12 points for the first paragraph that begins with it is important. Set the after spacing to 18 point for the line Dr. Jane Miller, PhD. Set the line spacing to at least 12 points for the first paragraph that begins with it is important. Okay, to do this. You look for the line just search for the line that uh, begins with the line dr jane miller pd okay so let's scroll down okay it's right here dr jane miller is just select that just click at the beginning set after space after spacing you go to the home tab in the paragraph group you have uh, the paragraph dialog box launcher and uh, after spacing after spacing okay to 18 point we'll change this to 18 point okay then the line spacing set the line space to at least 12 point for the first paragraph okay let's just first do this so you click okay 
Now again, for the first background I've given switch, it is important. Okay, select this, then the spacing, the spacing for the first background that begins with it is important. At least twelve point. Okay, let's see. So at least line spacing, at least twelve point. Okay, it's already set to twelve point. Good. Now that is done. Correct. Correct. Task twenty four. Convert the title "The Wonderful Wizard of Oz" to word art using the gradient field, aqua accent five reflection style. Convert the title "The Wonderful Wizard of Oz" to word art using the gradient field, aqua accent five reflection style. Okay, to do this, you select the title "The Wonderful Wizard of Oz." Then, to locate the word art, you select the insert tab. Then, in the text, in the text group, you select. Uh, the word art and look for or search for what art does gradient feel gradient feel gradient feel gradient feel gradient feel okay gradient feel okay aqua ten five reflection style okay that is done okay correct correct Task 25. Customize one settings so that EOD is replaced automatically with end of day when typed. Customize one settings so that EOD is replaced automatically with end of day when typed. So okay, to do this, you go to the file tabs, select the file tab, click the file tab, then you select options and select proofing, then auto correct option, you select it and in on the replace box here yeah? in the replace box just type eod okay then replace with end of day end of day okay so we click add and click ok okay you need to click ok button here as well let's dock this to the top Stop. Okay, so now the OK button you click the OK button and that is done. Correct. Task 26. Insert the text from the file toxin.csv at the bookmark named toxin table. Convert the inserted text to a table with fixed width columns. Fixed width columns. Ensure that the number of columns are defaulted to four and are separated by a comma. Insert the text from the file toxin.csv at the bookmark named toxin table. Convert the inserted text to a table with fixed width columns. Ensure that the number of columns are defaulted to four and are separated by a comma. Okay, to do this, just navigate to that uh, bookmark named toxin table okay to do this click on the inside tab then in the links group you select bookmark then toxin table then go to okay then close this box so, so the bookmark is right here so to insert text from file from the file toxin.csv at the bookmark okay so now you go to the insert tab then in the text group you have the object the drop down arrow next object then text from file okay then here the all word document select it and change to all files okay this is toxin 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 so file just select and click insert okay then right here, it convert the inside text to a table with fixed width columns. So you select the old text. Okay, select the old text. Then you go to, to convert the table. Select the old text. Again, select properly. 
okay so now we go to the inside tab in tables group is select the table drop down and click convert text to table convert text to table okay so number of columns so ensure that the number of columns are defined to four so yes it's four and I separate by a comma comma okay and separate by a comma divided to four then comma select this then click OK. Okay, that is done. That is done. Correct. Task 27. Add a new row to the bottom of the March 2007 sales breakdown. Sales breakdown table with the text total in the first column. Add a new row to the bottom of the March 2007 sales breakdown table with the text total in the first column okay so add a new row to the bottom of, of the march 2007 table march 2007 table okay march 2007 sales breakdown table okay to the bottom new row to the bottom okay a new row to the bottom so bottom of the table so you just select this, then the text total in the first column. Total. Okay. Let's write total the first column. Okay, total. That's done. Correct. Task 28. In the March 2007 sales breakdown table, add a sum formula in the second column, totaling all category sales. In the March 2007 sales breakdown table, add a sum formula in the second column, totaling all category sales. Okay, to do this, just locate the March 2007 table. Then the second column is select that. Then go to the insert tab. Then in the text group, you select the explore quick path. Okay, insert tab, text group, select the explore quick paths and select field. Okay, right there, the formula. You select under the field properties, select formula, formula. Then right here, you just select all the sum above all of this total total now so you just click ok ok the total is insert ok correct task 29 format the text in the symptoms bookmark as a bulleted list format the text in the symptoms bookmark as a bulleted list ok to do this just locate the text the symptoms bookmark okay so to look at the bookmark you select the insert tab then in the links group is select bookmark okay symptoms select symptoms then select go to okay you can close the bookmark box dialog box okay for what it takes the symb symptoms bookmark as a bullet list okay so, so, so for what this as a bullet list you click on the home tab then in the paragraph group, bullet list, just click the bullet command there. Okay, that is done. Correct. Task 30. Format the text in the ingredients bookmark as a bullet list using the checkmark.jpg image file. Format the text in the ingredients bookmark as a related list using the checkmark.jpg image file. Okay, to do this, you locate the ingredient bookmark. You just select the insert tab in the links group. You select bookmark. Then you select ingredients right here. Ingredients and let go to. Okay, format the text in the ingredient bookmark as a related list using checkmark.jpg so that's picture so 
we'll go to the insert tab go to home tab sorry go to home tab in the paragraph group you select the bullet drop down arrow then define new bullet then you select picture and select from file okay the g matrix template folder check mark and click insert and click ok okay that is done so correct task 31 add a cover page using the austin theme add a cover page using the austin theme okay to do this just click on the insert tab in the pages group you select the drop down arrow next to cover page then it's less austin okay that is done correct task 32 add a bibliography on the new page at the end of the document add a bibliography on the new page at the end of the document okay to do this you scroll to the end of the document and use the shortcut key control end okay so you add a new page you select the insert tab select blank page okay so you add a bibliography to add a bibliography you select the references tab then in the citation and bibliography group you select bibliography the drop down arrow then you just select the built in bibliography okay and it's done correct task 33 insert the citation for the Tyler reference at the end of the sentence gone are the days of selling a product on its own merit. Insert a citation for the Tyler reference at the end of the sentence gone are the days of selling a product on its own merit. So to do this, you locate a sentence gone are the days of selling a product on its own merit. Okay, to do this, you can just click on the home tab the editing group click on find and type gone uh, the days okay you just see it here it's collected so citation for the Tyler reference at the end of the sentence Tyler reference at the end of the sentence we've gone at the days of Selling a product on its own merit. Okay, so just click at end. Insert the citation for the title reference at the end of the sentence. Gonna the days of selling a product on its own merit. Okay, just click right there and go to references, citation, insert a citation. Okay, Tyler reference okay so that is done and close this and next okay correct task 34 add a table of contents at the beginning of the document specifying only sub objective heading and scope heading styles for the first and second levels respectively add a table of contents at the beginning of the document Specifying only sub objective heading and scope heading styles for the first and second levels, respectively. Okay, to do this, just click right at the, the document and you click on the references tab and the table of contents, the table of contents uh, group, table of contents, the drop down arrow, then you select custom table of contents. So, right here, you select options, then you reset. So, specify only sub-objective heading and scope heading styles. So you scroll 
Time to solve objective. Heading. Okay, solve objective heading. It's mentioned for us. We have you stay here one, then scope heading. Scope heading. Then you type two. Here yeah, you enter one. You enter one for solve objective heading. Then scope heading. Enter two. So first and second levels. So click OK and click OK. Okay, that is done. Okay, so uh, correct. Task thirty five. Align the image to the left of the column and set right only tight wrapping. Align the image to the left of the column and set right only tight wrapping. Okay, to do this, you just locate the image. Okay, it's right here. So you select it. Okay, you click on picture formal contextual tab. In the arrange group, you select position. Okay, so more layout option. And right here, text wrapping. Select text wrapping. Select tight. Tight text wrapping. The right only on under the wrap text here. Select right only. Okay. Then position. Align the image to the left. So alignment. Select alignment. Left of the color relative to color. Okay. Click OK right there. Okay. That is done. Correct. Task 36. Apply the blue 18 point glow accent color 1 style to the image of the bar and rotate the image by 350 degrees. Apply the blue 18 point glow accent color 1 style to the image of the bar and rotate the image by 350 degrees. Okay, to do this, you select the image of the bar and you select the picture format contextual tab and the arrange group. You so in picture styles group, you select the picture effects. The picture styles group, select picture effects. Then you move down to glow. Blue 18 points. Blue 18 points. Eighteen point. Eighteen point of blue, eighteen point blue, blue, eighteen point accent color one. Okay, then rotate the image by three fifty degrees. Then go to the arrange group. See, rotate, then uh, rotate object, and more rotation options. And change rotate. Rotate on our rotate rotation to 350 degrees. Just type 350 degrees. We click OK. And then it's done. Correct. Task 37. On the third page, insert a text box in the simple code style that reads every message must be repeated at least. 13 times. On the third page, is that a text box in the simple code style that reads every message must be repeated at least 13 times. Okay, to do this, you scroll to the third page. Okay, and inside the text box, click on the insert tab, there is a text group. Simple code, simple Quotes style simple post style okay so simple post style just click it okay you type the message 
every message must be repeated at least 13 times okay, stop okay, that is done correct task 38 set the background color of the text box to a dark variation gradient from the center Set the background color of the text box to a dark variation gradient from the center. To do this, you scroll down to the text box, so you select the text box. Okay, so you select shape, format, contextual tab. Then in the shape size group, select shape fill. Then move down to gradient under dark variation. In the center, in the center, okay, that is done. Correct. I believe you have learned a lot from the video. So, to keep getting this kind of video, ensure you click on the subscribe button and drop your comment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.